Good morning, everybody. So Wednesday morning, we got a big pool that about 2,300 square feet we're doing. It's all going to be stamped. Finally, getting this done. We've had a lot of rain, so we're gonna we're gonna get it full. We got a few extra people here today. We got Harvey helping. We got Sean helping. We got Tia here helping today. Using uh, NS Giles for a pump. They got, I think they got like five pumps. Haley Concrete. That's our normal concrete mix. We are excited about getting this done today. We know we're going to be working, dude, to get this all stamped. This is 2,300 square feet is the most we've stamped in one single pour. So Harvey and Sean are going to hang out a little bit after to help us get this stamped. It's all just it's stone texture, so at least at least that's the fastest type of stamp we do. But we're going to be hustling. Alright, so the first 10 yards, we're going to start here and go around until it ends up. And then we'll take the next truck and do a little bit here, a little bit there, and then we'll finish up in front of the building and go out right over there where those chairs are. So we're hoping to, to stamp it the same way too. A little bit of a method to our madness. But... Can you do that? I like it. Yeah, I can do it. Yep. I know, you got to be gentle with it. You said, right? So today we're using two forming systems. We got Z pool forms for our pool coping. And we love those forms. We use them over and over and over again. They're probably the best forms I've ever used for forming a, a pool coping. And then for the outside forms, we're using poly meta forms right there. So these are flexible forms, four inches. They got different sizes, but today they sent us these four inch forms. And we got, they're 12 feet long. They flex really nice. It's a really good system for forming up curves. And then they got these brackets here you can use to not only pin the forms with, but also to, to tighten them and set them to grade with after. So poly meta forms, again, you can see it right there. If you want to try these out, they're great. We intend to use them a lot this year, so you'll be seeing those a lot on a lot of our patios and pool decks. You want to give him five, or are you, you good? Yep. Huh? Yep. I'd give him a little bit, please. Yep. All right, so we vibrate this, then we just like to tap it a little bit and see if there's any more air bubbles in there. See, I just see one pop right there. And then that way, when we strip it, it's nice and smooth. It has like a slate texture to it, those red liners. I don't think I've ever met you. No, I'm uh, Justin. Justin, Mike Day. Mike Day. Nice to meet you. I appreciate it. You're gonna be on YouTube now, Justin. Right, that's okay. You'd be a superstar that's now. That's all right. A little bit. Yeah, go ahead. That's all I got right now. Gonna get a pool like this, Sean? <laughs> you think of the work this is gonna take? Oh, go, go, this guy will hire somebody, yeah, but. Right. You mean you're gonna hire me? <laughs> All right, the first 10 yards, next 10 yards, we'll go, you know, four or five yards that way, we'll go four or five yards this way. That way, when we stamp, we can keep stamping because we're probably going to go two ways when we stamp, especially once the sun comes up. The sun's going to hit right over here first. 
tricky thing with uh, these pulls, these curved ones, is bow floating up against them because you know, I don't want to pull the bow float right up to the liner and then create a divot right there. That'll make it a little bit harder when we come back to when we come back to mag it out before we stand. So trying to get it as smooth as I can to make the magging as easy as we can later on. Five so good, one truck down, two to go. Right on the end of that bow float, you see that little thing? I don't know if that's wire. Perfect. Must be on a yeah. What happens sometimes when you use those slab bolsters, you know, you, towards the ends, sometimes the wire will stick up. You don't want it sticking out through a pool deck. We'll get, get an hour later. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get it after I bolt out. Hey, Darren, boat four or five yards that way. Four or five yards that way. See all the stamping tools we got. We got rollers here today. We got all our stone texture mats here today. We got quite a few of those. We got our skids. Anyway, I'm looking for a little set of wire cutters here. I got a little wire I got to cut out. I think we're almost about halfway, although that side's a little bit wider than this side, so it's going good. A little bit of wire here to cut out. Yeah. Get it out now. We want to deal with it later. So good. So we like low stress environments our best. <laughs> we got enough stress in our lives. We don't need any more. This all looks really good, you know. No straight, no straight sides to this thing at all. Just curves, angles. Looks pretty cool, actually. So we're gonna do a little bit here, then we're gonna go over there and come off that edge for a little bit. And we'll get that third truck down. Give me a little bit. We'll come down to about where he's standing. If we got any left, we'll come back here.
Go ahead, over there, I'll, I'll do this. Those bull float marks at Magdo just in case it starts to firm up. Two and a half. We want to get a, a midpoint here because it all smokes a little bit. Midpoint's going to be right about there. So you, you mean the the power towel or the crane? The crane itself. Oh, okay. No, yeah, it works great with the power towel yeah. up and all that. Everything feels good so far. It doesn't feel like the concrete's setting up too fast on us. Definitely ten yards will definitely finish that. It looks like about uh seven yards maybe, which is about what it figured, 27, 28 yards. And then I always figure extra for the pump. And then, you know, whenever you're doing colored and decorative concrete, you gotta, you gotta figure a little bit of extra on top of that because there's no, <laughs> there's no calling for a balance if you don't have any more color. You gotta keep that in mind too. Wonder how many times I'll walk out around this pool today. <laughs> Probably 50. What I really want to do is be walking on it with the stamps. Then I know I'm getting stuff done. thing to worry about later on when we start setting up we could cut that out later another piece right there see that so if something pops up later we can just come in here and either try to push it down into the firm concrete or just cut it back out afterwards Now you guys know why we don't like to get the wire up too, too high. It's more of a pain in the butt when it's sticking out like that. So that's why, that's why a lot of times we don't use those slab bolsters. We pull it up into the mud so we're not cutting it out like this after. You guys like his bear? <laughs> Maine has a lot of black bears. Move over there. Getting right down there now. It's going good. I check time. See how we're doing on time. Pump guy was. He had to be out of here at eight. That's why we started so early. We we canceled yesterday because of rain. So it's kind of doing us a little bit of a favor by getting here. Let's see what time it is. Seven oh one right now. It should should be fine. Oh, 
high as you can. Sean wants a straight edge, he said. You hear him? Do you, I just heard him. Yeah. The hair is going, my girl. <laughs> Straight edge, but you want it done right. <laughs> Not for me to get down there now. No, come on. With the right motivation, I bet you still get down there. Well, yeah. <laughs> the <ain't> to hit anybody in the head. Uh, that bullfold is pretty nice. 3.8, 4,000, 3.8, fiber mesh, and the wire mesh. So we're gonna, we're not gonna tool this or nothing. We're gonna come back a little bit later this afternoon and put some saw cuts in it to get it through the night. And then if we don't feel we can get them all in tonight, we'll come back early in the morning and put the rest of them in. Doing the Fourth of July, Sean. Anything? I don't know yet. No. Come down the storm on this way a little ways. I think so. Yeah. Whew. What do you want to do? Get rid of it for a minute. Just full. I think. Well, we talked about it. Pumping it right back into the yeah. Front. Anyways, whatever was left in there. Okay. So if I get a little bit too much in there, no big deal with we'll Okay, pump it back in and get him down. Luke, I'll wait for you. Going over your head this time though. Shrink her up a little bit there. Still a little funky there. That's probably where I made that pad, huh? Let me come back another foot. Yeah. Yeah, fill that in a little bit, Harvey. Perfect. Tried splitting the difference. I'd come a little more if you want to pass it to me. Good job today. No, no worries. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad we could get it done. Yeah. You guys gave us gave us these forms to try. Really? We really liked them. They went together easy, fast. One okay. one guy could almost do it. They look nice. That's the first time we'd used them. Yeah. Pretty user friendly. Yeah. And then the the company the company that we use for the coping. Yeah. The Z pool forms. Okay. Concrete countertop solutions. Yeah. It's like the Cadillac of forming. Okay. And you can use it over and over again versus the styrofoam stuff that right. breaks up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, those guys are great to us. We got umpteen different liners that we put in there. It makes it look really nice when That's we strip awesome. that off. It overhangs about two inches. Okay. So I do pump work and I'm also a crane operator. Yeah. And I put in a lot of fiberglass pools. You do? And just one piece pools I've seen 80, 90, 100 grand wow. just for one piece. That's yep. just the pool. Yeah, it seems more people are going with them fiberglass ones. One piece, they're yep. durable, they're, it's the way to go. You don't yep. have to worry about liners. We can do these forms on top of those too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I did, whenever I do decorative and stamp, I always order a lot. You probably got three guys on there. Couple blocks, but that good. <laughs> <laughs> Couple decorative blocks. Watch the splatter on the building. That's all. 
all right so 715 mud got here at six so just a little bit over an hour to get that in actually probably about 27 28 yards he's got a couple yards left on and we should have plenty of time before we got to get back on it stamp it so when we get ready when we get ready to check it for stamping i'll get back with you and i'll show you i'll show you just you know how we test it but we're gonna have to get on this maybe a little bit earlier than normal today because it's so many square feet and you know when the, the sun's right there as soon as these clouds burn off this a big part of this is going to be in the sun so we're gonna have to hustle so as soon as i don't know i'm guessing maybe a half hour i'll get back to you 